Hey guys, Boss here. Today we are going to be installing the Fallout 4 script extender. I'm going to go on Google here and search up the Fallout 4 script extender. We're going to select the first one here. Then we're going to look at these two files. We want the Fallout 4, not the Fallout 4 VR. We aren't installing a VR version, so download that. Downloads in one second. Drag it on our desktop. Now we're going to extract it. Just extract here on the desktop. It pops out a folder. We no longer need the other one. Now we have our Fallout 4 script extender on our desktop. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it over there. Now I'm going to go to my Fallout 4 directory. Once we're in the Fallout 4 directory, we're going to drag everything from the Fallout 4 script extender into our directory. Mine's going to have me replace items because I already have it installed. But just whatever it does, just replace it. There we go. You can see the files that it replaced for me. But we're not done. In order to launch the game properly, we have to use the Fallout 4 script extender uh, shortcut. So we're going to drag ours over here. But it doesn't look like Fallout 4. So we're going to make a couple changes. We're going to go to properties. We're going to change the icon here. And we are going to open the Fallout 4 directory again. And we are going to select the Fallout 4 EXE. There's our icon. Apply. Okay. Now we got it looking like Fallout 4. I like to label mine FO4 and then the year that I updated it, 2022. And that is it. Now I'm going to launch it. You saw it launch with that little black window. And I'm just going to let it run here. Basically, uh, mine takes a little bit to load, actually. I thought something went wrong, but it was just taking a long time. And you'll see here, I start to wonder. Then I just wait for it to respond, which it does here in a couple mo uh, minutes. There we are. There's a couple ways to check to see if it launched properly. I'm just going to check using my mods. We're going to load in the game here. Just a random save. Alright, so we're in the game. You can tell that my fall UI is working because it's not the normal UI. Uh, we're going to open up the mod config, which relies on the Fallout 4 script extender. As you can see, this is working properly. No error messages are popping up. We can open up things like the game configuration menu. We can open it back up, look at the fall UI. And as you can see, it's working properly. If it wasn't working, an error message would pop up telling me to uh, update it or that there, one of the items would not be, one of the mods wouldn't be working. So, easy peasy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you have any trouble. Thanks.